So in April 2024, the Metaverse Street Journal became the official media partner of the Paris Blockchain Week. So I had the opportunity to travel to Paris, the heart of France, city of lights and the epicenter of love. At this time, one thing was clear. Paris would host the Olympics in 2024. And the city was already showing. The Metaverse Street Journal had the privilege of working with the French Upland community, also known as Fropland. Fropland is headed by two complementary founders, Andreas, who goes by the name of Nocife, and Anthony, who goes by the name of Northwalk. At this point, we knew that Paris will launch soon, quote unquote. When that soon will be, no one knew at that time. But we had an inclination that Paris City launch in Upland would coincide somehow with the Paris Olympics, keeping in line with Upland's sporting theme. And what has subsequently unfolded with Paris being the home of the Sandbox Metaverse and the city that will be the home to Sandbox. The future looks optimistic. In this video, we visit Notre Dame, Arc de Triomphe, Eiffel Tower, Paris City Hall and encounter a unique Paris street artist practicing his dance moves. Paris is too diverse and too big for us to showcase in a single video, but we've done our best to capture the side of Paris which will be the most visible initially to all the planders. We specifically made it a point to capture the Eiffel Tower light show, which takes place every hour on the hour for five minutes. Paris is truly an international city that's a torch bearer in the Olympics, as well as technology such as blockchain and the metaverse. In real life and now in Metaverse 2, with its rich culture, vast unprecedented heritage and centuries long history. The city with most number of landmarks in Upland Metaverse, amazing monuments, the city of light, city of love, the city couples go to, to lock locks. With all that being said, it has been a privilege working with Fropland community both with Andreas and Anthony and specially meeting Dirk in Louis Privé in Bastille. Ladies and gentlemen, Madame de Monsieur, I present to you Paris France in this video, appropriately named Welcoming Paris to the Upland Metaverse.
I already said everything. Uh, Apland is an uh, amazing game. Uh, I started 2020 and that's w when I saw that it's a beautiful game and it has everything, you know, what it has to be in, in a game and looking forward, you know, and what have you built in four years, it's amazing, so... Where, where are you from? Where are you? From? Where are you? Uh, you're, you're living in Paris right now? No. Or, uh, where, where are you from? No, 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 I'm actually from uh, Croatia, I just came today in the morning and I'm very happy to be here. With uh, Charles underscore uh, F -R. F FR in the in the metaverse in the upland metaverse. Well, first, I'm very happy to join uh, other players uh, of Upland here because uh, it, it's like another step. Uh, we talk to each other on uh, on social media, on, in the game itself, and I'm very happy to finally talk with other players because uh, when I talk about Upland with my with my friends, I'm a bit like an extraterrestrial, an alien, and they are not players of Upland. So I'm happy today just to join this Paris meeting and talk about Open with other players. I talked with uh, with Dirk. He didn't want to, to say anything about Paris. Cheers! <laughs> I know you are like uh, a really uh, treasure hunter, uh, treasure hunting aficionados, right, in the plan. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, it's true. I, I, I'm uh, loving it. Well, I'm, 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 my, I, my intelligence is, is right. The people told me uh, they didn't like. Well, first I was I was uh, really sh shitty. Sorry for the word. But uh, then I grew uh, to some uh, really big answer. Yeah, I'm a cra this is crazy stuff because uh, all day long you're cruising uh, the, the the states and and beyond, and uh, we're following the the marks, yeah. the birds. And, uh, but we, at the end, we are not uh, we're not hunting all treasures. Well, of course, but it's all, it's only a way to to go further. It's only a, a way to, uh, to 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 know all the new cities. And uh, I became a, like a, a really a, a really good uh, tour, 
tour uh, to operator because yeah. I know all the cities. <laughs> yeah, that's that's amazing. So maybe you will be tour operator in the metaverse one day because you will know that like your pockets. Oh, of course, and uh, with the transportation, uh, with the transportation, I also think that maybe I will be a taxi driver. <laughs> Brilliant to have been at Paris Blockchain Week. A um, lot of energy, loads of productive conversations, and then we got kindly invited to this event by Tan. And so, otherwise, we would not have known about it. So I'm really getting to meet, enjoy meeting you guys and the, the community. So, uh, that's the great thing about this space, right? Going around, meeting people, saying hello, shaking hands, having a good chat. As you can see, we like put like some small, uh, small flags from uh, small uh, airplane flags. I'm very happy. We have just finished the Paris Blockchain Week and then we come to this event in Bastille.
Yes. So thanks for to have you with us like uh, tonight. No problem. No problem. So, I'm enjoying actually. It's a. Uh, it's pretty. It's it's good to meet people who have a same mentality of the metaverse. Yeah, of course. You know. And of course, so, you you love the metaverse. Yes, yes, yes. Of course, I love so much. So that's why I'm here for guys. You know. You know. Make sure you know you have to stick with the next year at least. If you miss it this year, you guys have to come for the next year Paris blockchain for sure. Yeah, yeah, you have to, you have to make it, guys. It's like such like a top notch, real top notch event, and hopefully we will make the same than this year, right? And look at his get up. Join. Maybe. Hi, I'm Yes. Okay, French or? Yes, yes, French. Okay. Are we speaking French or English? Yeah, we would be like speaking uh, French right now, but we, we can sp switch in English. Yes, yeah, no problem. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's better for for the live stream. For the, you know, okay, good. How long have you been in Upland? Uh, just now. Oh, okay, okay, just right. It's a okay. discovery. Oh, okay, awesome. Okay. And uh, I knew a bit. Uh, I, I was saying uh, the other two, the Central Land and the uh, Sandbox. Okay. But I've never had a real experience. Okay. And I was saying my project in life is to make the first psychedelic art center. The first what? Psychedelic art center. Oh, okay. Interesting. Yes, okay. yes, because I have the largest psychedelic art collection, physical. Oh, wow. Voilà. Here, here in Paris. In Paris, yes. Okay. Yes. Oh. And, uh, and for eight years, I've been trying to set up this project, which deserve at least uh, five million euros. So it was a bit not that easy to get them. Yeah. So I decided to um, make a, a media to gather a very large community and finance it. And that's what I've done with Lucidelic. Lucidel, okay. Yes. Okay. okay. And so La Cidelic is a, an all-encompassing media about psychedelia, okay. which which is an art magazine about uh, society, lifestyle, and music. So we talk about everything really about uh, nature, about spirituality, psychedelic therapies, but also uh, counterculture. Uh, so many topics like uh, it's pretty, yeah. and it's the first media on the topic in the world. There's no, none other, not no, even I've in the I've never heard state. about it. It's, it's an interesting direction, yeah. So at, see. at the moment it's in French, but I'm willing to put it in English in, a, in the next three, four months. Okay.
Thanks. Nice. Well done. Yeah, <laughs> thanks. Yeah, they're pretty cool, I think. Really. Maybe, Dirk, you have like a, a last word you want to share uh, with us uh, tonight about uh, Upland and your experience uh, at uh, the Paris Blockchain Week uh, 2024 that was uh, happening like uh, during this week. Yeah, so first of all, uh, for this event, I want to thank you guys for putting it together, right? It was a completely community-driven event, so Upland was not really participating in it. However, I hope that in the future and one day when Paris is open, right, uh, you know, that we actually can also do something together, right? So that's, uh, of course, I would love to love to do that. Uh, Paris Blockchain Meet was interesting, was was good, was uh, was good crowd. There was a lot of side events also here um, and uh, very good conversations. So you guys also filming there a lot. And um, I have the feeling, you know, um, you know, after 23, especially obviously we're talking blockchain and and uh, crypto and so on. 23 was a I tend to say a tough year. We all know that, right, in the space. And um, I saw that you know the whole industry somehow is coming back now. And uh, I'm, I'm you know I, I think we are just uh, getting getting started, right? We have lots of good stuff now. Since you're taking the cake, since you're taking the view of the cake, you might as well talk to the people that are going to cut it. Come here. That's... Can I tell your real name to the public? Yes, sure. So, so that is North Fog from Frapland. His real name is Anthony Descamps. But I don't That's know if... right. Do, do I pronounce it that way? Almost. Almost. How, how it's Decon. Decon. Yeah. Okay. Anthony Decon. That's me. That is him part of the Froplin community. Let's see if Nosife would come, but Nosife. he... Come on. One second. One second, can you come? So that is Nosife, with whom you all know. Nosife, can I tell the people... Hi guys. Can I tell the people your real name? Yes, of course. Okay. It's, uh, no, no secrets. Okay, so his real name is Andreas Zurini, and that is... That is Nosife. that is Nosife. That's me, the UCN broadcaster and the co-founder of Fraplin Community, and I, as you all know, is Tan, and that is that. So, Doug, do you want to say something? Uh, yeah. Who's who's live or are we live? Yeah, or? Okay, live. All right. So, first of all, this awesome cake here, right? Just incredible, right? What the guys put together here. So, thank you. Thank you, thank you, Frubland, right? So for for doing this, 
and of course Tan, you know, with the Metaverse Street Journal, right? Uh, innovating on the journalistic side, right? I think so, right? You're doing new stuff. No one has done before. It is so important to do, you know, those local events and to bring it together. And honestly, when I look at this, I feel... Uh, first of all, it's a lot of calories, guys. So what are we going to do? <laughs> yeah. But, but it looks delicious and um, I, I, I'm, I'm just overwhelmed right, with you know, what you put together here. So I really say thank you, thank you, thank you. And um, well, I can't wait that we start eating the, the cake here, right? So it looks delicious. It almost feels like you don't want to eat the cake. That's how good it looks, right? It, that, that's how good it looks. To yeah, yeah, probably, right? So. Uh, so maybe for those who can see it, so there's the Oma 3 logo on it, of course Upland, Middle East Street Journal and Footland, you know, that's a, uh, is it your logo, you always had it like this, that was the first design, alright, okay, okay, cool, and, and, and oh, now, now we have flags, by the way, there's also the badge, the broadcaster's badge, so, <laughs> which I have, and we're waving the flag, <laughs> alright. Thank you everyone for being here tonight. Uh, it's really important for us and I hope you, you enjoyed uh, the meeting. And yeah, I don't, I don't want to say that it's uh, over yet, uh, not really. But expect to have like, the same event next year. But uh, yeah, hopefully with uh, more, more everything. Thank you very much. Also, also, also to add, since, since this is my third community-led event, I think the community needs to do more events around the world. I've done two in Mumbai, one in Paris with Frapland now. I hope we have more and more community events in Dubai, in Saudi Arabia, in US. Thank you very much and I really want to have a part of this cake. So uh, come on and let's, let's eat together. Why don't you introduce yourself? Um, I'm Kenju. Okay. I'm uh, well. I'm from Switzerland. I live in Geneva. Okay. What's your in-game name? Um, yeah, it's Kenju. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And, and I haven't seen what me. what status are you? Are you a director? Are you an executive? Chief executive? I'm executive. Okay. All right. And what what draws you to Upland? What those? What 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 uh, brings you to Upland? Oh every yeah, day of course. To log in? Oh, to log in. Well, first, uh, first of all, I, I, I like to make my empire. <laughs> yeah. But, I'm, uh, but not only for myself, also because I'm, um, I have a, a, gr a growing uh, community <coughs> with uh, I, 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 IRL friends uh, around me. So uh, it's also um, it's my adventure, but it's also a, a Roman with uh, a story with, with uh, involving a lot of friends. Um, so yes, are you going to the Genesis Week this year? No, I cannot. It's uh, it's so far. We uh, we we would like w one one day, but not to, not this year. Okay. Uh, so so, what are you? What's your strategy of Upland? What are, what are you trying to do in Upland? Um, essentially, um, uh, making a uh, some second life, but um, based on on real va values. Okay. Uh, um, I, I'm. I've studied the economics in the, in France, and that um, we are we are at the point that we we may be um, we may be, we may have cha have to change something in the, the economic system. Okay. I mean, worldwide. It, this is not about uh, saying okay, they are the rich, they are the poor. Mm -hmm. No, it's it's about saying 
we can help uh, all together. We can help uh, each other. And uh, with the metaverse, uh, I can easily train someone who can be uh, in in Africa, in India, and um, if he, if he's getting result or knowledge from the the the, the thing he, he can learn from from myself or from other people of my community, well, it's a, it's a, a total different way to uh, to shape the new societies. Um, we we had a good uh, we had good uh, studies. We have um, we have been backed by our parents, our society in France and Swiss to uh, to be uh, good actors, but um, in our little communities. But with the Web three, we we can do uh, we can do this on a, on a, on a worldwide stage. Not saying that I want to be some uh, some kind of a of a big politician or some kind of um, influ big great influencer. No, it's just that I want that that everyone can get some uh, some knowledge and of course money from the from their activities everywhere. And I want friends everywhere. In India, in, uh, in, in, in Japan, in Dubai as well, of course. Yeah, absolutely. So, so uh, tell me one thing. If there is a new player starting up lane right now, today, what's your advice to them? Um, okay. follow, follow your leaders. Okay. They, they help you. They are, they're providing um, help. What do, you, what do you mean follow your leaders? What leaders? Well, because uh, we, we work here basically in, on Discord and uh, that's, why, that's where we, uh, that's where we, uh, we train new, uh, new players. Don't play alone. If you play with, with, with the leaders, they won't deceive to you. They, uh, they are only here to, to help you be, be better. Uh, we, um, I, I've, since I'm in Upland, I've already helped uh, 30, uh, yeah, 30, 30 friends, uh, and sometimes it's it, it could be uh, knowledge. Sometimes it could be um, getting uh, uh, passing uh, passing uh, um, objective goals, and uh, but for for the for the pleasure and and when the, when I see pleasure, when when I see their their success, I'm I'm happy as I could be for myself. Absolutely. Um. Well, well, it was great meeting you. I know you have your cake. I don't <laughs> want to keep you forever, but thanks for joining us.
I am here with Blanche. Hi, Blanche. Hi, how are you? All good, all good. Blanche is not from the Uplit Metaverse, but he just came to our event. I met him at the Paris Blockchain Week uh, yesterday and I invited yes. him here today to this event. Nice to and, meet you. And, and he talked to Dirk, he talked to a lot of community members. So, how did you find this event? Oh, very well, because I met a lot of people in my verse and you know it's a new way of for me or digital way and I'm very happy to discover all these new blockchain new kind of vision and today I am very happy so you know I just enjoy <laughs> I can see it from your smile so what did you learn about Uplet Metaverse Belange? Oh call, uh, I, I learned Mm, the f best thing I learned, I think, is we have a good community. Absolutely. <laughs> High five to that. High five to that. Okay. We, ha we don't have a good community. We have the best community. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The best community. Absolutely. <laughs> I, I love the community. Whether it's the US community, the India community, the France community, it's the best in the world. Yes, right? yes. So, right. As, as you're now looking at Upland, what's the first thought that comes to your mind when you think about mm, it? Popeches is my apartment, my, my flat, you know, okay. I want my flat in Upland and I would like, I, oh, I just, I have my Eiffel Tower, you yeah. know. <laughs> he already has his free Eiffel Tower from Achini Meta Ventures. Exactly. So, oh, don't don't show that oh, on the oh, camera. Uh, don't move, don't move. <laughs> <laughs> so, so he has his Eiffel Tower on 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 the Upland Metaverse. Exactly. So, so um, tell me, what, what's your plan? Are you planning to do business in the Metaverse? What's your what's your future? Um, plan? discover and maybe try to make my yes my own business, my like my um, little shop, uh, a little shop on in the future, but not now. Now Have I a just name? a name. Oh yeah, yeah. Eco market, you know, oh, yeah, like nice, nice. low price but good, pri uh, good projects, you know, nice. yeah, nice. <laughs> yes, yes. Well, is there anything else you would like to tell the community? Oh yes, uh, enjoy and trust, trust us, trust Aplon, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Well, thank you very thank much. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Alexandre, si tu t'appelles Alexandre, t'as quel âge J'ai 11 ans. Ok. Tu joues à, à Uplend de temps en temps Alors avec mon père, oui, je joue. Tu joues à quoi exactement Qu'est-ce que tu fais dans Uplend euh, Dans Uplend, euh, moi je joue souvent des chasses sur traiteur parce que je trouve que c'est amusant. Enfin, c'est pour moi le côté, le côté fun de ce jeu. Après sinon, euh, le, on regarde les, les prix des propriétés, il essaie d'en vendre. Je regarde surtout le nombre de PX qu'il a, ça va intéressant. Et euh, voilà. Est-ce que tu sais ce que c'est le Metaverse Non, ça je ne ça je sais pas. Non. Ok, mais ça ce sera, ce sera pour plus tard alors. Et dans, dans le futur, est-ce que tu as envie de te créer un compte Dans le futur, euh, oui je pense. Peut-être que ça aura évolué, etc. Ce sera cool. Euh, voilà. À part la chasse au trésor, tu sais qu'on peut faire des courses de voiture dans le plein ah oui, ça je le sais. Tu as déjà essayé Non, j'ai pas, pas, je crois que je vais pas avoir essayé, mais je crois que j'ai déjà vu mon père essayer. C'est sur, euh, Il avait essayé sur mobile, je crois. Enfin, si je dis pas de bêtises. Et à part, euh, à part Replane, tu joues à quoi euh, Moi, souvent, je joue à une console qu'on euh, qu m'a acheté. Euh, puis je joue à des jeux comme euh, Minecraft, Fortnite. Euh, euh, J'ai aussi un téléphone. Je peux, je peux jouer à Roblox, comme euh, apparemment c'est un, un jeu important, etc. Okay. Super. Et si tu devais choisir entre Roblox et Upland, là maintenant, tu choisis quoi Alors, je sais pas parce que Roblox, en vrai, c'est cool parce que c'est un monde ouvert avec plusieurs jeux. Mais Upland, j'ai plutôt pour les grands. Pour, euh, parce que c'est histoire de, de gérer son argent, gérer ses propriétés, etc. Je sais pas parce que je connais pas le vrai Upland. Parce que moi, je joue euh, Upland euh, avec mon père, mais je sais pas ce que c'est le vraiment. C'est normal, tu peux pas encore avoir de compte à ton Ouais, ça c'est vrai. Mais. Euh, 18 ans, tu dirais que tu ouvres un compte tout de suite Je pense peut-être. Peut-être Oui. Bah super Merci Alexandre Merci.
We are signing off. This is the end of the live stream. Thank you so very much for joining us. This is the end of the first Paris meetup, and we have. Wow. <laughs> All right. So thank you for joining the three hours or what it was now. Right, so almost right. It was a great, great community event, especially the cake. <laughs> especially right and guys uh, thank you for, for for putting it up here right really really appreciate it again right bye-bye bye-bye see you in the metaverse, the metaverse. <laughs> say upload <Okay>. upload <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>
uh, 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 co-working, a mega co-working space within the heart of Paris, Bercy. And now this happens in Carousel de Louvre. So Paris Blockchain Week happens right here in Carousel de Louvre. And within that, there is a event center called Les Salles du Carousel. Exactly, exactly. And this event gets bigger every year. And yeah, I mean, let's wait for next year to see how big it can become. And maybe we could expect to see more of Upland there. Absolutely. This year itself, we are expected to have around 8,000 to 12,000 people. Last year, Dirk Lut, the co-founder of Upland Metaverse, was a speaker. We are, expect, we, are, we are expecting him to be here again this year. And of course, we are also having the first Upland Metaverse meetup by MSJ as well as Frapland happening in the heart of Paris in Louis Privé in Bastille this year. Yeah, exactly. So I guess um, this landmark will be definitely a landmark to mint in Upland. So maybe through a raffle, through um, gamification or okay. we don't know, or yeah, auctions. Yeah, right. Yeah. So let's wait and see when Paris arrives. Absolutely. And well, this would be a great landmark for anyone to get their hands on. Whether it's through auctions or through sales from the UPX store, you should definitely go ahead and grab this as soon as you can because you're not only buying the Louvre Museum, you're also buying the venue where Paris Blockchain Week happens every year. So in, in a scenario where Paris Blockchain Week enters into a partnership with Upland Metaverse, you're gonna see that the Paris Blockchain Week is gonna happen at this venue every year. Okay, Upland Metaverse, welcome to Arc de Triomphe. This is one of the iconic places in Paris. If it does launch, there is no doubt that it's gonna be a landmark. Uh, of course, it is up to the Upland team, but it should most probably be a landmark and a collection as well. Over to you, Nasifa. Yeah, so as you can see, this beautiful landmark behind us. So it has been built uh, like to commemorate the Austerlitz battle. And um, yeah, we are actually like on the Champs Elysees. That should be also a collection as a street. So maybe we can show to the public like the Champs Elysees that, that they are just in front of us. So it's a really, really more probably the, the most famous uh, boulevard in France. Actually, so you can see and have a look how crowded is it. And yeah, it's so popular, maybe the most popular uh, area, area in, uh, in Paris, actually. So we are super pumped to be here. Absolutely. And yeah. And it's full of people. There's a lot of people here. It's, as you can see from what my colleague, the cameraman showed you and behind us. And uh, when this does launch in the metaverse, this is obviously guaranteed to obviously be a place that is also going to be popular with the local Parisians that are in, uh, in, in, in the metaverse. And once uh, Immersive 3D does launch, this is quite a spot. So it's, it's, it should be quite a spot as well as you can see if my cameraman can show the road. Um, this, if someone does open a racetrack here, if someone does open a racetrack here on in Arc de Triomphe, it's guaranteed to be a magnificent racetrack. And with that, over to you, Nasibe, for last words. Yeah, Tan, I would like to ask you, do you plan to mint on the Champs Elysees? Absolutely, if I can get Champs Elysees, I would love to mint on the Champs Elysees. Yeah, and so do I. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.
Uplanders, imagine if this light show happens in the Upland. We're at the Eiffel Tower in Paris at night. Imagine if this light show, which happens every hour on the hour, happens in Upland Metaverse, where Eiffel Tower launches as a landmark or a collection. Wouldn't that be great, Nasifa? Yeah, that would be totally amazing. And, and apologies in advance if you can't see us. We know the lighting is bad. We know it's the night. Um, and we couldn't uh, get, get a better uh, solution to this but hopefully you can see the lights behind us uh, that, that are there and um, yeah, uh, no, see if you, uh, what, what's your opinion? Do you think this is going to be an auction property? Do you think this is uh, going to be in the UPX store? How is, how is um, the Eiffel Tower going to be sold or minted? Do you think Abdullah is going to buy it? Do you think someone else is going to buy it? That's a great question Tan. Thanks for asking actually. Yeah. I really uh, wonder what's uh, our brand uh, reserved for the Eiffel Tower. I think uh, it's obviously the best landmark of Paris. It's well known all over the world. So yeah, it's de definitely like deserve like a special, really special care by the Eiffel team as a mint or as how they put it, uh, accessible to mint anywhere. So let's see what they have in mind. But I'm very excited as always. Uh, as always. Uh, for everything like uh, what a friend is about to do. Absolutely, and if my cameraman can just show, this is the the the, the place where all the lovers come and lock the locks, which is very famous in Europe, right? Um, so in in front of Eiffel Tower, the the city of love, that's that's happening as well. Imagine if this happened in the Upland Metaverse. Imagine if every hour there was a great show in Paris when 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 Paris does launch, when Eiffel Tower does launch in the Upland Metaverse and imagine if you could see this light show happening in Upland Metaverse would not be crazy no? yeah it is yeah so a little fun fact about the the, the Eiffel Tower so it has been built uh, during the <clears throat> Universal Exposition like back in the days and actually it was meant to be destroyed after the exposition but yeah the as you can see what they did was too amazing to be destroyed, so they choose to keep it. And how it is now, like hundreds of years uh, later, it's still here. And it's filled the heart of all the Parisian actually. It's uh, amazing, amazing. Watch, watch from your own eyes, it's amazing, right? Absolutely, and, and imagine when, when the Olympics does happen in Paris, if Paris is in, in, in the Upland Metaverse, not only is this not only is this gonna happen, this light show is gonna happen, but a lot of tourists who are actually visiting the city in person can actually visit the city of Paris in the Upland Metaverse as well. Wouldn't that be great to see it? Yeah, it would. As, as a French community leader, you're, you're the founder of Upland, which stands for French Upland. Will you guys be making a syndicate and bidding on the Eiffel Tower if it launches? Yeah, of course, we would be happy to yeah, work any any kind of, uh, you know, uh, experiences, community experiences around the Eiffel Towers because I think more over Paris, it represents France, you know. Okay. So, yeah, there is definitely some things to do and really excited to see what we'll be able to do, actually. Absolutely. Do you have an opening bid that you guys would like to uh, put for, for the Eiffel Tower that you're willing to pay in UPX or, yeah. or UST? Yeah, I think I would pay like... One billion dollar, no problem. You mean in, in UPX, one billion UPX? No, one billion dollar. So okay. it would, you add three zero to that. But 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 in, in, in on a serious note, how much how much would you guys, uh, as Frapland founder, you and North Vogue and and the rest of the community, how much would you be willing to yeah, pay yeah, on, yeah, the, on the starting price of of Eiffel Tower? Yeah, for a, a more realistic statement and what we would be able to do regarding in, in the reality, yeah. What we will be able to do regarding the size of our community, yeah, that's a really great question, actually, uh, Tan. And yeah, I don't have like a really accurate uh, answer, of course, just right now. But I would say we could, as a community, leverage uh, something around uh, maybe 30k uh, US dollar, something like that. So yeah, I think uh, it's already a great sum. Uh, it's a great uh, amount of uh, money. Uh, but uh, yeah. It could be way, 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 way more. Yeah. And do you, do you think that this should actually not be sold to anyone? This should not be minted by anyone, but it should be like a public space where anyone can go. It should have zero UPX visitor fee. 
uh, or, or like very low, like five UPS register fee only for uh, the Eiffel Tower and, and any Afghan can visit it. Now, by the way, we can see the normal Eiffel Tower without the without the light show. So this is how Eiffel Tower does look without the lights uh, in the in the night and every hour on the hour when the clock strikes the hour you see the light show for i think a uh, few minutes four or five yeah minutes, five minutes something five, like five that yeah minutes, something like that mm. so so uh, my question was should should we not allow anyone to own this should this be a public property then yeah that's a great question i think uh, the answer is more deep into uh, you know the development of uh, the urban metaverse because uh, about uh, how government uh, for example the french government how what will be their their purpose in the metaverse we don't know we don't have these answers yet so uh, if it's planned accordingly and it makes sense that the government the French government takes some leap in the metaverse yeah. to bring you know more control more 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 culture more yeah it will make sense that uh, such uh, landmark uh, be owned actually by uh, our own government uh, I, I can see uh, the interest in that otherwise we have to uh, let to to to, to let know pool. we have so to let know can be owned by the community pool of Upland. We have to let know though to uh, our viewers that in Paris there is a lot of monuments that the fr the French the French government do, do not own it anymore. They sold uh, because uh, you know everything has uh, a value and the government needs money to fund stuff to pay uh, the. You know the walkers etc so there is some monument some uh, landmark that uh, has been sold so why not selling the Eiffel Tower in the metaverse sure. thank you well, well thank you that, that that was it yeah thank you very much